How much time have you actually spent with yourself? Mindful Dads. Hey everyone, I'm Alan. Welcome to Mindful Dads. And today we're going to talk about getting to know yourself. Now, not many people actually know themselves. The first step to happiness, contentment, living a more nourished, fulfilling life is actually getting to know yourself. Now, I discovered this through meditation and mindfulness and all that type of stuff. But you don't need to do mindfulness and meditation to get to know yourself. All you need to do is actually spend time with yourself. Now, when I talk to people about this concept, they sometimes they say to me, oh, I spend lots of time with myself. I take the dog for a walk or, you know, go out in the morning and, and go out riding on my bike or whatever. That's actually not spending time with yourself, that's spending time with the dog, spending time with nature, that's spending time with the bike. It's not actually sitting down and spending time with yourself. Now imagine if you just met someone and you got on well with them and you met them once a week for a coffee to get to know them. Now, and you spent an hour with them each week. Now the first time, You'd be talking about trivial things, what's the weather like, what's their interests, all that type of thing. And over time, you get to know that person a little bit more in depth. Things start to go a little bit more deeper. You start to share your feelings with them, your thoughts with them, your aspirations for the future, vice versa. And six months down the line, that's a lot of hours that you spent with that person. Two years down the line, if you continue that friendship with that person, then you know them pretty well because... You've sat with them and all you've done is have a conversation with them. Every single time you've met with them, it's been the conversation. Not doing other things, the conversation itself. Getting to know them and them getting to know you. Each person would know each other on a very, very deep level. Now, how often do we do that with ourselves? Now, we're not saying that everyone should sit down with their thoughts and feelings through meditation and mindfulness because some people just don't like that. It's not for them. But if you're going to get to know yourself, sit down with yourself and close your eyes and start to talk to yourself. Just like you would with that person that you've just met and you want to get to know them because they're interested and you get on with them. So the first steps is... Find 10 minutes in your day, somewhere quiet, sit down, close your eyes, and start asking yourself questions. Now, initially, then questions will be very trivial questions, just like when you get to know another person. So you'll start to think about things such as maybe, I'm hungry, or, oh, I was feeling tired earlier, or whatever kind of comes up. It'll start to be trivial to start with. But start to ask yourself questions such as, well, what do you think on politics? What do you think on sports? What do, whatever it is, it just start to ask yourself questions and answering yourself back and allow that conversation to go. Do that 10 minutes every day or even five minutes. Start with, with really small or even one minute. Sit down for one minute. If it's too hard to sit for 10 minutes, then sit for one and build that up over months and months. Now, a lot of people don't do this because they're scared of what that brings up. You know, over time, six months down the line, when you're spending an hour with yourself a day, literally doing nothing apart from closing your eyes and talking to yourself in your head, is things will start to come up that we don't like about ourselves. And that's where kind of people, that's where it breaks down because people don't want to, to look at the side to them which have either buried or whatever. Getting to know yourself on that deeper level, we then can start to know what we want with the with our life and we can start to become more comfortable with who we are. Now, when we sit down with ourselves, and if, if some of you guys try this, I guarantee what will happen with, with, with a lot of us is, what's the point in this? This is absolutely useless. I need to go and get up and do something. I've got more important things to do than just sit here. Now imagine doing that with that friend that you go for a coffee. How do you think that person would feel on the other end of that? 
why am I sat here with you when I've got other important things to do? And then you get up and just storm off. How do you think that person would feel on the other side of that table? Now, when we have them feelings for ourselves, how do you think another part of us that we're maybe not aware of is feeling when we don't, when we say to ourselves, this is absolutely useless. I've got more important things to do than spend time with myself. When we get to know someone that we love, we accept them for who they are. We accept all their bad things and we accept all their good things and we love them no matter what. Because we've got to know them from every angle. And when we know someone really, really well, it doesn't matter what they've done. It doesn't matter how they behave in situations. We accept them for who they are. What makes us different? You know, when, when people get up and say, oh, this is not important to me, I, I've got other things to do, then we're not accepting who we are. We need to get to know all of them little things that we kind of buried and become familiar with. You know, the, the term meditation is, it basically means to become familiar with. Uh, so when you are just sitting down with yourself and talking to yourself, then you're meditating. You're becoming familiar with yourself. The good things and the bad things. The terrible things and the beautiful things. All the things about you, if you know yourself more by spending time with yourself, I guarantee over time, if you push through it, then you'll lead a more fulfilling, happier, content life. So there you go. Spend time with yourself, people. Take one minute a day if that's if you're first starting out and build that up over months and years that's how i started i started on 30 seconds a day and over time i'm now sometimes meditating or spending time literally with myself with my eyes closed for sometimes up to two to three hours i get up at maybe sometimes half four five o'clock in the morning and i'll do it then so it doesn't disrupt the rest of my day because you know you need to be with others and all that type of thing so again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. And I'd love to hear some comments with regards to how you spend time with yourself and how you've got to know yourself. We'll see you soon. Mindful Dads.